Noctus Lucis Kylum. Prince to the Lucis crown, he made his way here from the Final Fantasy franchise through his friendship with Lars. Noctis has long range huge pushback. He is quite linear, amazing with punishment, easy block punishment. He is good at keep out even though this is exploited by his small move pool. He uses his multitudes of weapons on insanely powerful foes in his own series. But is he ready for the challenges that await him here? Thanks you guys for clicking on to the tutorial, and I hope you guys learned something new. Thank you. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you stay till the very end because there's a theory for you guys. A very interesting Noctis theory. Welcome back you guys. We are back with another video. This is Stranger Danger from Silhouette Gaming, and we are back with the Prince himself. Noctis Lucius Kailam. That's right, we are back with Lo Noctis, and um, I miss you guys actually. Uh, I, I would have done this a day ahead, except I'm broke and I don't have Microsoft Word. So when I did this on a, uh, a, a free notepad on my laptop, it actually restarted and then my laptop restarted from like updates. And then yeah, I had to do the whole thing over. But yeah, I am uh, had to do the whole thing over and I'm ready to get this back right to you guys. So before we get started, if you learned something new, please like, comment, and subscribe. Everything really helps out the channel and just helps out with the YouTube algorithm. All right, let's go. So we're gonna do with Noctis' 10 frame punishment. 10 frame, yeah, there's one, two. One, two is 15. Um, generally, they're about 15 to 17, so I guess that's standard, but Noctis needs so much. He's very linear. Yeah, he's very linear, and like he also gets uh, pressured very easily, you know? Uh, very, very easily. You give him a, jo a Josie to fight, you give him a Harang to fight, it's a bad time. Very bad time. Yeah, um... He probably would depend on, like, his parries or something like that. Like, it's, it's really easy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really bad. So... His 10 frame is 1, 2, high, high, um, negative 2, and then plus 6 on hit. It's kind of standard. Kind of standard, right? Um, the 1, 2 does jail, though. So, it's it's so quick, you can't dodge it anyways. But yeah, it also has extensions, and uh, I'll get to the extensions during the um, the pokes time, because that's not really a punish, right? So, he does have 1, 2, 2. The last one is also guaranteed from the hit. You don't get any frame advantage, really, you know? Um... Yeah, not, not, not much frame advantage, but it is minus 11, so if you miss your 10 frame, you're eating a 10 frame back. So yeah, that sucks. And you're only getting plus 1 out of it, so that's that's as much as they block your jab, you know? That's as much as this. So he, he's really bad on, like, plus frame moves. Well, besides from that, I guess. But yeah, he's really bad from, like, plus frame moves. And uh, he doesn't have an 11, so we're going straight to 12. 12 frame. Uh, this is actually pretty good. Bang. Back 1-2. So remember, 1-2... Back one two. Oh yeah. So back one two is his uh, high high 12 frame. Um, is actually not jailable. So what that means is this is a high. They can't do anything about that. But if they see that, they can duck that second hit. You know, some player, some people are fast enough to duck your, uh, your or block your your second hit, right? They can block that second hit or they can duck that second hit and launch you. Oh yeah. That's a bad time for Noctis. But yeah. So but it's only supposed to be used for a punishment, really. You know what I mean? Um, unless if you go for like something like this, like, like for walk wall travel, you know, reach it on wall, but yeah, it's, it's mainly supposed to be used for just the Punisher anyways. Yeah. But after this, it gives you plus seven. Look at, look at Jin moving back. Bang. All that time. All that time. He can't swing the whole time. Bang. You know? So from after that, you can just do whatever you want. Yeah. It's not jailing and he can duck it. So it's pretty bad for that. But just don't, uh, don't do anything other than punishing it. With, you know what I mean? Pretty far too. Uh, yeah. And then he also has his farther 4-2, you know? Yeah, so 4-2 is also 12 frame, but this also isn't that great. You know, it kind of, it, it, it's, it's, it's used when he does, like, going into stance like that. Yeah, during his combos. It's a high mid, though. So since the second hit is mid, it's pretty good. But it does, also doesn't help with his linearity problem. He has such a, 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 a linear problem you know clearly 
everything is straightforward, you know? Everything is super straight with this guy, you know? Everything is super straight with this guy. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. He has a problem with homing moves. He, he, he does have a few moves to, like, reconcile that, but it doesn't really do much. Yeah, so, but this move is, is pretty long. And it is negative 14, though, so... For your 12 frame punisher, if you miss, you're eating much more. So it's not very worth it, you know what I mean? And you gotta recover longer than Jin does. So you're at minus one. This gives you no frame advantage, but it, it, it might be the only thing you can hit at the time, you know. And then for 13, he does have a 13, which is a down for one. Generally, you want to go for the uh, the 12 frame more for damage, anyways, and um, your frame advantage. But a lot of times you're just gonna go for down for one, which is also a plus seven. It's plus seven um, on block is minus one, so it's still very good. You know how you know how mid jabs are the most spammable things in the game. You know, you do this and and then uh, sissy low kicks or something like that. But Noctis does not have one. One of the reasons why he's 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 not that he's not that powerful. He doesn't have a dick jab unless you full crouch. He can't just go under, and he doesn't have a uh, a sissy low kick. You know, but yeah. So his 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 mid jab is clearly a mid, right? Minus one plus seven, and it got extension. Uh, the extension is so your opponent won't swing, because then randomly just bang, just clip him. Um, this is also a duckable high. Um, and, and the way that Tekken does it is most highs that are duckable are safe. Or plus frames, or plus frames. But either way, you're, you're, you're allowed to duck them to, like, avoid your opponent being safe or plus with it, you know? So, yeah, this is safe. Um, and yeah, it, it, it gives you that knockdown on, on wall areas that, like, splat them on the wall. Breaks wall, too. Yeah, um, it, 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 does, it does a lot. Um, common strategy is just... After this, if they block, let's go right into that. People love doing that. This is the parry. We'll talk about that. You guys know I'm going to break everything down, you know? Okay, so that's his only 13. For 14, you have down, forward, uh, four, two. I like this move a lot. It has, uh, two extensions, you know? Uh, this move is pretty good because it gives you very good plus frames, you know? And, uh, yeah, just continue your pressure, you know? You don't know if you're going to do the last hit. You don't know if you're going to do the last hit, you know? So he actually has two extensions, you know? And again, did you guys see how far this kick is? That's a high. What does that mean? It's probably safe, you know? Which it, which it is safe. So yeah, this is a mid-high. You actually can duck that high. The only thing is, uh, um, it's pretty quick. You're probably not going to even see it. And Noctis isn't exactly, like, um, uh, all around in online community, so you'll probably be safe. You know what I mean? People probably won't notice that. Um, it's minus two on block, so very, very safe. Uh, you can still sidewalk, side roll, whatever you want to do, right? You can still side, whatever. And it is plus eight on hit, so that's very strong. That's very strong. They, 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 they think that they're free? Counter hit them. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's very good. That's very good. Um, but yeah, also has the launcher extension or the safe high if you want, you know? Uh, that's that. And then, if you want to get to some big boys, some knockdowns, you know, he has back three, one. That, look at that. That thing is... Who uses shields offensively besides Captain America? This guy, you know? Yeah, so this is a high mid. Yeah. So, um, it is minus 14, so if you don't use your 14, you're going to eat something just as powerful as that. 14 on 14, you know, it gives a knockdown, and uh, I guess if they don't roll back, you do get the aura, you know, but I'm, I I set him in the back, let's see what happens if he just like, uh, not set, right, yeah, you get the aura, yeah, so, whatever, just put on that, okay, so from that, you, you, you do get something, and uh, yeah, that's that's that. It's a big boy chunk, right? It's a big boy chunk, and then he also has his up one, you know, up one, back, uh, up back one, uh, up four one. He has three notations for the same move. That's such a waste, you know. Put more good moves on this guy, on this guy, you know. But yeah, this is a high. This is one of his counter hit, uh, great moves. He doesn't really have many counter hit moves, so everything is like uh, appreciated, you know. But yeah, this is one of them. This is a, a classic round starter. You know, you just start the round and just bang, clip them. You see how he dips back a little bit? Dips back, dips back. That thing is actually, uh, 
yeah, some form of crushing in there, you know. So it is a high, 17 damage, minus 4, so it is safe. You can still do, you can still move around, you know. Um, yeah, and it's plus 8. So Noctis has, like, a few moves that gives him major plus when he hits them, you know. Nothing, nothing when your opponent stand blocks, though. Like, not, not, not many, so, you know. Uh, but on hit, yeah, this is a, look at Jin, ooh, you know, that's a huge minus frame. Yeah, and it's just counter hit launcher, so not bad. And then, um, you guys are smart. You guys know what I'm going to say about 15. What do you guys think he has for 15? He has such a long range, you know, launcher. Like, if your opponent tries to get up and did something from, like, here or something, just clip him. It's clip him. Like, down 4-2. Down 4-2 is amazing. Um, it's a mid, too, right? It's a mid, 20 damage. Yeah, and, uh, super, super far. Uh, if your if your Hayachi does his 442, bang. A, uh, if regular Kuma does 442, bang, you clip him. Uh, yeah, and, and any far range pushing move, this is guaranteed to launch most likely. Also, look at him duck down, right? He ducks down. It actually has some high crush built into it. It's actually evasive. He doesn't really have many panic moves, and you can argue that this is a panic move, but it is a bad panic move because if you if you're panicked and you're stressed. And you do this, if your opponent does block, it's the same thing as Gigas 1 2. If your opponent does block and you're already stressed, you're gonna eat a whole launcher and you're just dead. You know? So in in, in that sense, it's not that strong of a of a punish move. Right? Yeah, so um now you have your uh your down back one. Uh yeah. This is launch punishable. If you're not sure that you can do it, you can do the down back one, you know? Down back one into that gives you 27. Um, but yeah, the first thing is 10 frame, I mean, uh, 10 damage, right? It's safe. So, uh, your, 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 your scary get launched back, maybe for that, or you're safe for this. You know, it depends on the situation, right? But yeah, it's also plus three. So, yeah. So from this, you also can do the combo, right? You take your plus from there. I think it's like plus six. But yeah, and then, and then you also can do your front, which is a roll. You just do that and you just hold forward, you get your roll. And what does this do? You get an instant mix-up, right? You get your instant mix-up. So yeah, that's also your wall splats. So you could really pressure people by the wall, you know? So yeah, and then you also have your two twos. I, I thought that this was 12. I, I think I'm probably thinking of the uh, uh, Negan. But yeah, so this is 15 actually. And they got extensions, you know, keep your opponent on block. You guys probably didn't even see that grab, right? Because it's built into the animation. Yeah, so so you can actually stop. This is five hits. You can actually stop some. You know, whatever you want to do, you can stop some. You can even push forward, right? Just keep confusing your opponent. A common strategy with Noctis players is... It's just literally stop while they're still holding back. You grab one out of the four times, you know? Or finish the whole five. Common strategy with like uh, Noctis players. That's the thing. So yeah, um, use all use all of your mix-ups from that because he doesn't really have many mix-ups, you know. Um, and if you want, if you guys want to go for the swag daddy, you guys want to go for the swag 15 frame, you know. First of all, if you're doing a 15 frame Punisher, this is the best thing. Let's just get that out there. This is the best thing because you're gonna launch. You're gonna get really far, you know. Whatever combo you want to do, you're gonna get really far, and uh, yeah, that pushes them the wall. You're gonna get your damage, right? But if you want to do some swag, bang! You just do your back, and then once they clip it, you do you hold you press one plus two. You know, you press one plus two, like that. That it doesn't do much. It does it does thirty seven, right? but it catches your opponent off guard so much, you know. Um, it's never really recommended for a punish, but it is safe. It is safe. It's just a swag daddy little little, little throw right there. It's pretty funny, right? Uh, and if you went around with that, you're guaranteed to get likes on uh, YouTube. Just keep that in mind. Okay. So yeah, um, that's that. It's actually way less dan way less damage, but it's a super YOLO swag. <laughs> so now we're gonna get right into his uh, while standing, and. Uh, I've taught you guys already. You guys know this. You guys know this already. What's the uh, while standing uh, quickest one? Most likely the four, right? 
Same thing. Uh, Noctis don't change. He has his standing force. The quickest Punisher is safe. My, uh, it's, it's 11 frames, right? So the fastest thing you can do, like, 10 frames is standing for jabs. 11, you have to have one frame to get up. So that's why it's 10 plus 1. So it's 11. You get what I'm saying? It's the fastest thing you can do from there. So it's safe. 11 frames is 15 damage, I think, right? Yeah, 15. And, um, yeah, since it's safe, all you care about really is the plus frames on this. And it's just plus 5. Not great. Not that great. Not that great. But it's what he has. So, he, so you know what I mean? You can't really be picky on that. You know? Um, yeah, it's not as much as other characters. And now it's his wall standing 1-2. Uh, this is his 13 frame. This is highly delayable. You guys see that? Look at that. One. It's a whole... It's a whole one Mississippi inside of that. It's very, very delayable. It's mid-mid. You know, um... This looks like Steve's uh, Punisher, right? Except Steve would, like, break you down. <laughs> yeah. But this looks like Steve's, right? Um, it's actually minus 13 on block. But Jin does take some time to get up. So on hit, it actually is plus 2. You get plus frames off of it. Not, not, not much. This should be a lot more. I think. You know? Yeah. And um, on, on just the second hit. Let's see if I can get it. Knockdown. On counter hit. Just a second hit, though. So, yeah. Um, and then you get that for free. So, that's that second hit. And, yeah, it's, it's very delayable. So, a lot of times people will swing at you. Because they saw that you missed. You know? And then you just get that second hit. It's, it's very, very delayable. And then now you have his wall standing 3-2. Look, look at Jin's nose. <laughs> During that whole animation, he can't move. Okay, that whole animation, he's at minus frames the whole time. So it's very, very minus for him. But you might as well just take the free damage, you know. So 3-2 is 14 frames. It's minus 11, so... But it's very awkward to punish, right? Like, he zooms around, right? His warp, right? His warp, he zooms around. It's pretty awkward to punish. Yeah, it turns into that animation. Yeah, um... The first hit alone gives you plus 6. Jin is like, ow, the whole time. It's a lot of damage, you know? What does that mean? Swing at me, Jin. You know? So, yeah. You can finish the whole thing. Or you can just claim your little mini plus frame. Like, Brian does one kick at a time. You know? And then just get your plus frames. So, whatever whatever you want to do. You know? But, yeah. You can get plus frames. Or you can get the, 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 the mini combo. Alright. So, now you have his, his actual 15 frame launcher from the ground. 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two is mid-mid. Uh, minus 14. So yeah, you're gonna eat. Uh, you're gonna eat a chunky bit of damage. This actually, you're gonna eat like 14. You know, so you, you're gonna eat a pretty big chunk if you miss. But yeah, it is plus five in case if like uh, the second one hits by itself. You see that he, he he does a ballerina spin. Yeah, so it it the the second one by itself uh, would give you plus five. So you're still at a plus advantage right there. But the thing is, unlike this, this is not delayable. You actually have to commit. Yeah, it sucks. And you see how that's a launcher? Even though the second hit by itself doesn't. What happens is you need to hit the first hit. And then you see how, like, Jin one leg is off the ground? He counts as airborne. So the second hit pushes them far, far away. So that's what happens. Um, the second hit pretty much just tips him over. And then he actually gets the combo. You can't screw, because that's already his screw in that combo. You guys see it? Yeah, so, so you can't screw. Yeah, no screw. That counts as a screw, and, um... Yeah, it's what he has. Um, the first hit has to hit for it to be a launcher, but... If you do a counter hit, the second hit... Let me see if I can... I didn't know if I would make it there. Did not work. Huh. thought the second hit was a counter hit launcher. I guess it's not. It is. Life is weird, you guys, isn't it? Ugh, life is weird. So I'm not sure what's happening. It didn't. It didn't work, and then it works. Okay, so it is. It is, you guys. I don't know why. I thought that, and it and it was. So, yeah. But it's not delayable. So so so, so that's what sucks. And now, um, lastly, on his punishments, let me just get through really quick of like with punishment, right? If your opponent is just whiffing in the air randomly, like they're they're coming to you, whatever. Forward to. 4-2 will clip him most of the time, you know, even close range since it's safe is actually very good. 
forward two is uh yeah you're one of your go-tos for whiff punishment if they're far away yeah l whiff them all day you know if they're very close range two range three and they just did like a move to try to check you out they whiffed you do your spear four one two four one two would catch them for sure you know very 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 fast for what it is right uh where does it go it just it's dematerialized in the air right but yeah so that's what he has very good um you actually can clip him with four four one plus two also thinking about it as a whiff punisher but yeah um generally you do like the forward two and if they're whiffing something pretty big and you think you can do it get them don't let them get away with that you guys don't let them get away with that okay you get them out of here all right so yeah this has been his punishment guide all right let's get to these pokes and the neutral game right so you guys you guys can tell uh, as far as poke heavy characters are concerned noctis he doesn't really fit he has a good mid jab he has a good mid jab but as far as pokes he's more comfortable doing whip punishment you know he's more comfortable staying out here pushing you back he doesn't want you to get close to him because after you're done he's done poking whatever you're gonna have to poke him and he's not that great at a, at a defense like that you know what i mean but yeah so for pokes you have his jab you know he has his extensions or whatever right um but yeah so his single jab the, the thing that jimmy j tran one of the best players in the world he does all the time you know what i mean with brian just one jab the thing that he checks the most yeah so this is seven uh seven damage it's a high 10 frame fastest thing you can do right um yeah fastest thing most characters can do actually so even on block he's at plus one so on block he's at plus on hit he's at plus eight don't 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 swing but this is a single jab this is a single jab you know yeah it's, it's very standard though yeah uh low low damage but then when you get to his extensions because you got to mix it up right you can't just do the same thing you can do the one two the one two two the one two and then push them back this pushes them back very far on block let's let's, let's push them on block bang right that, that that's that's comfortably far but after the one two look how slow that is you can get punished from in, inside of there most people wouldn't most people wouldn't for the fear of that right for the fear of like uh you, you're doing whatever but yeah it's actually possible so that is that um it also was flats right uh you can switch it up and do the four four two you know whatever so yeah now you have your uh this one now which is safe you know this is the one two one plus two yeah so this is safe it's high high mid uh minus nine you know um interruptible but it does tailspin so just in case your opponent's like uh in the air for some reason jump kicking you you caught them with jabs you can float them for a little mini combo that's that's pretty sweet right Nakas actually has a lot of tailspin moves he, he really does like yeah um when you're when, when, when you're poking what's what's the most important thing most likely it's gonna be your mid jab you know check them check them all the time you know yeah so your mid jab is safe uh 10 damage 13 frame you know minus one on block it's very spammable plus seven so yeah very spammable very good for frame advantage you know um got your extensions for people to keep you away uh yeah the four right um the four now makes it safe you're, at, you're it's, it's minus five so you're actually safe you know knocks down if your opponent gets up randomly again in the air you get a tailspin from that happens a few times online you actually do get that tailspin right and uh yeah very easy wall traveling just in case of like you want to just reach it oh that's well that's not it but it, it pushes you a little bit farther very easy to do just run up and then just do your mid jab you know yeah, just run up and you just do your mid jab. Very easy for wall traveling. Yeah. Um, on on the neutral side, right? On the neutrals and pokes, you want to push your opponent away sometimes, or you want to gain that free launcher. Ora, ora. This is this is arguably his most known move, and uh, 
why on the online community thinks Noctis is a degenerate. <laughs> Honestly. But yeah. So the aura pushes you very far. Let's check that out. Let's stand right to this guy. You know? But what if you're even here? It pushes you farther. Yeah. So the aura's pushback is immense. 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 Very safe. I mean, the closer you are, the easier it is for them to spam and uh, punish you, right? But yeah, like like if you're at range 2, range 3, you spamming that, you can still clip them. You know? Whatever you want to do. But yeah, it, 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 it does uh, a good chunk. It does a very good chunk. Yeah. And um, you'll see that this randomly high crushes, right? He ducks. So yeah, sometimes when your opponent comes in, you actually can charge it and catch it. You know? If you charge, it actually does uh, more damage. Right? What is that, 28? This is 25. Yeah, it does more damage, does more pushback, too. Yeah, so it actually does become safe. Uh, yeah, so the aura is mid. Uh, 25 frames, so very slow. And um, you actually can punish this. It's not safe, but the pushback is immense, right? Some people, including Noctis himself, can punish it, though. You know? So keep that in mind. Yeah, but a very good getaway tool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um... Yeah, it's very good, very good. So now we have your up one. You guys remember this, right? This is the, the, the random 14 uh, Punisher, but it's actually also uh, a very good poke of his, right? Because you do your jabs, you get your pluses, you, 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 you're you on hit, you get your pluses, you're harassing them, bang, just throw that out. When you're on plus, generally this will give you your combo when you're on plus. Um, the a off axis a little bit, but yeah, it gives you your combo. Whatever you want to do, right? But it gives you your combo. So, yeah. Um, up one. You know. Uh, it's a high. 17 damage. It's your counter hit. Plus 8 on hit. So, you can spam this. If he gets hit by that and he wants to swing again. Okay, you're, you're dead. You know, you get hit by one. Boom, you get hit by the other one. Counter hit. You know. Yeah, but on normal hit, it just gives you plus 8. Which is immense. Which is immense. Super, super immense. You know. Now you have your four or two in the neutral, you know what I mean? You like to space out, you know? If your opponent's running to you, if your opponent's like trying to see what you're gonna do, throw out your four or two. Throw out your four or two. Not only is it a whiff punisher, but you can also just throw it out just because. It's actually safe. And um, it doesn't, it's not that far. Right. <laughs> it's actually the farthest move in the game, pretty much. Besides fireballs, maybe. I don't know about that, but yeah. Uh, the farthest you can go on the screen, it won't hit. I mean, whatever. But if you move a little bit. Yeah, so it's very, very, very far. Um, not not many characters can say that, you know what I mean? So the forward two is 20 frames. It's slow, so that's, that's the trade-off. You know, sometimes when I'm doing this semi-close, I actually do get hit from it. But it is safe at minus nine. Yeah, so... You, you see how he does that roll after? Right, right. So, yeah. Um, it's minus nine, safe, and uh, the range is out this world. That's forward two. Now you have your uh, down back one. Your down back one goes into the stance, like I said, right? Um, but by itself, is actually plus frame, is safe, you know? If you're in the neutral and you're poking at each other, you're doing this mid, why are you not doing this one? You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, do this one because it also has a, a, a an extension, you know? Um, so this is uh, 10 damage, 15, 15 frame, you know. So it's safe at minus 6 and uh, plus 3. Um, with the extension, how much does that do? 27. And uh, yeah, you actually get your extension from that. You get your roll. Roll is a whole stance, you know. Uh, we'll get to that during the stance section. And But it puts your opponent from this. It gives your opponent a 50-50 mix-up. You guys see this, right? That's a mid. That's a low for that for that particular follow-up. So yeah, both um both is a mix-up, and it just comes from here. It looks like it does nothing, but it adds, you know. Yeah, so that's your down back one. Um, in the neutral, um, he's very bad with homing, right? Very very linear, like I said, everything is very linear, you know. But he actually does have a a, a very far homing move. Look at that long sword. That whole thing is a homing move. Yeah, so the whole thing is a homing move. 
Um, it's it's punishable. You know, minus 14. You're gonna eat a hit. You know, but what happens m some of the time is after the one plus two. This is just one button, but it's two hits. But after one button, you can actually hold back, and you can just throw it away. Put the sword away. So what's the point of putting the sword away? You get mix-ups, you know? So they're either going to think you're going to do a low, and then they get hit with a second one, or you're still in their face, you know what I mean? Whatever. I'm in their face already, you know? So, yeah, this is his get in your face. This is his, uh, uh, push you to the wall move. Yeah, this is a lot. Like, it's a great move. It's a great move. Um, he is a very needed homing move for him. Yeah, but most of the time, you're just going to put it away. You're just going to play mind games with your opponent, and then whatever you want to do from there. Right? Um, a common strategy is to do this, hold back, and then do that. You know? Or to do that into another one. You know? Yeah. So, that's that. Um, it's, it's very far, you know? And, yeah, knock this knees since he's so linear. Uh, it goes in a stance and then gives you that 50-50. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, now you have your forward three. Forward three by itself is a mid. It's one of those nosebleed stuns again, you know? Um, a nosebleed stun is basically when you're at minus frames, it's, it's a stun. But, but, but look at Armor King. Literally holding his nose. You know? Yeah, so it's 16 frame and um, it's safe at minus nine. So you're, you're, you're not at good plus frames on block either. But it is safe. But the trade-off is on hit. On hit is a uh, plus nine. So the whole time he can't swing at you. Because if he does, you know what I mean? He's dead. Whatever you want to do, he's dead. You know? Yeah, so the whole time he's dead. So yeah, for me, I think this by itself is pretty good. It gives you such frame advantage. And you can do the second hit, which is very evasive. He, he dips it, you know what I mean? Um... Yeah, so that's that. Um, down forward three one. Down forward three one. Right. So the reason I say this is good at the poking is because no one sees Noctis doing that. That's not a common string. Why is it not a common string? Because that's actually a part of his ten hit. You know, that's a part of his ten hit. So you should add ten hits into your repertoire. You know, you should add it into your repertoire because randomly you're not going to do the 10 hit. You're just going to do a little bit. Like King Players, you don't know when he's going to stop, right? You know, you don't know when he's going to stop. So, King Players do that all the time. Uh, Paw Players do it. You know, Law Player does it. Um, add a little bit because you, you, you never know. You know what I mean? Keep your opponent blocking. If they're blocking, they're not hitting you. You know? So, yeah. Um, this by itself is minus 10, though. You know, but whatever. Like, people aren't going to expect that. They're not going to know. You know, it's just going to keep them on block. So, even though on hit, this actually is minus three on you, they don't know when you're going to stop. You know what I mean? They don't know when you're going to stop. So, yeah, that's, that's that. Now you have your down forward four, two. I love this move. This move. First of all, swag daddy. Can we all just agree he's the most flashiest character in Tekken? Ugh. Like, by far, too. So, down 442 is, is mid-high. I mentioned this earlier. Um, don't get a duck. Don't get a duck. You know, that's all I'm saying. This is 14 frame, uh, minus 2, and plus 8 on hit. It's massive plus frames. Bang. Common strategy right there. Common strategy right there. You heard it from, you heard it from Stranger Danger right there. You know? So, yeah. Um... Is extensions include a launcher or whatever, right? Yeah, but the fact that you don't know when he's gonna stop, it keeps it keeps them from attacking you. You know, and that's kind of what you want, right? Now you have your uh, back one too. Randomly should throw this out. Um, Noctis has a problem where he has very very little moves. You know. Like, um, even after 10 hit, grabs, blah, blah, he has, like, 75, I think, you know? And if you cut away a lot of the extra stuff, he probably has, like, 50, because half of these are, like, just mix-ups of each other, you know? He really doesn't have many moves. Yeah, so, added this into there, it's high-high, you know? 
Um, because it's also safe, that's the only thing. Um, yeah, it's plus seven, so it's actually very good for that, you know. Um, definitely is mainly used in punish situations, but since Noctis isn't a very uh, common player online, you actually can get away with that, probably, you know what I mean? And if you don't, then if you don't get away with it the first time, don't do it anymore, you know? Problem solved right there. You heard it here first, folks, you know. Back four, one plus two. Um, this was actually very good, because people don't see this, and then they always get clipped by the second hit. All the time, you guys. I don't understand. All the time. Yeah. So, by itself, this is actually uh, punishable, you know. Let's see what it is on block. When people see the big sword, they always... They're like, oh, it's way too far. I can't punish that, you know. No matter what. So, even though you can punish from there, if they see the big sword, they're gonna, they're just gonna hold back most of the time. This is my experience online, you know. Um, the first move by itself is safe, though. And it goes in the back turn. Yeah, so the first move is safe. It goes in the back turn, and then the second move um, is his aura, pretty much. But it does not launch on normal hit. You see that? I missed. The second move does not launch. It has to be an actual counter hit. Bang, and then it launches. Yeah. It's minus 13, and it generally goes unpunished, even though you're, you can get big damage out of it. You know, even though you can get big damage out of it. Yeah. So, now you have your full crouch, down, forward, one. This is the new stuff. This is that new new. This is that new new, like a character from uh, ATL. Shout out to those people who understand what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, that's that new new. So yeah, this is season three. All right, uh, full crouch. This is actually safe. They're giving him good moves now. Crazy, right? So yeah, um, this is actually his full crouch game. It's safe, and he actually does have a full crouch mix-up now. You know, he actually does have a full crouch mix-up. So this is mid, 25 damage, 16 frames. Very fast. The thing is, he doesn't have many ways to get into full crouch quick. You know, besides like this or like this you know little little small kick because he doesn't have his sissy low kick this is his demo man so he doesn't have his, his sissy low kick and he doesn't have a dick jab because they all do something different you know so he doesn't have a dick jab unless you hold crouch yeah so that's one of the problems with knock is that holds him back immensely but anyways so from here you actually have that you know this is safe wall splats you know his new season three stuff um yeah, catches people when they get up, you know, uh, gives you a knockdown. Yeah, so if they don't roll back, you're getting that for free, you know, or if you want, you know, you can push with that too. Yeah, she, she, she can give that for free and um, yeah, it's, it's really good. It's really good. Since it's safe and it's a knockdown move, you know, and it's a mix up can't tell me you're not going to enjoy that you know we're going to get over this the other half of his mix up during the lows you know because this is just like uh poking in the neutral right so now you have uh your four forward series from you know because sometimes you're going to want to push in you got to like switch it up a little bit right so this i think is probably one of his best moves four four one plus two four four one plus two is great love this move yeah so look look at look at king moving back on hit this gives you immense plus frame immense plus frame like um yeah this gives you plus 10 immense so yeah first of all it's also a mid uh we like mids out here mids are mids are very good mids are very good let's keep mids right it's also his homing move which besides from this and this you know what i mean there aren't really many yeah, so that's another homing move of his. 20 damage. So, yeah. Uh, this move is a counter hit starter. So, yeah. It's big damage. Um, yeah, so it starts this counter hit off. Yeah. So that's good. It's a safe mid. Crazy, right? Runs into you, you know. Uh, yeah, this move is great. I can't get over how good this move is, especially because... Most people know how bad Noctis is. Good player, they know that you can just sidewalk him. He's very, very linear. So yeah, you, you need to put spam this move a lot because you just clip people even if they're not swinging at you. You're just gonna clip people from like trying to run at you, you know? I mean, running away from you. 
all the time. It happens all the time. Yeah. And um, if your opponent is airborne, it clips them. Yeah, so if they're airborne, it clips them also, you know. He has a lot of uh, random tailspin moments. Yeah. Safe, you know, his 15 frame is very good. And then his running series, he also has his four forward, forward one plus two. Which is not that, which is that. I'm not sure what's happening. There you go. Four, four, one plus two. There you go. Yeah. So your four, four, one plus two. Um, this is also a very good move. This on block leaves you at immense plus frame. Look at King the whole time. Yeah, so look at King the whole time, right? Very, very minus on block. Um, so yeah, what does that mean exactly? That means they can't swing at you, right? They swing at you, they get clipped, you know? So yeah, this puts you at very, very much minus frame. I think it's 11. Uh, yeah. I, I, I think it's 11, and on normal hit, you get that. You get an actual launcher. Yeah, so you, 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 you get your actual launcher. Um, I personally think this move is better because he needs more homing moves, you know? This move all the time gets whipped because it's so linear and you're always getting sidewalked. Yeah, so you're always getting sidewalked, so that, that misses. And then um, not only does it misses on ground, it misses sometimes, even though it hits ground. It misses on ground and you can still get hit from it because you just missed the move, you know? Uh, yeah, it's super slow also, so, so you can get jabbed out of it, too. You know, like I'm telling you guys to, like, check your opponent. You check that, you're, 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 you're eating a, a float combo. So, yeah. But overall, you gotta have it. It is a very good move, you know. It's a very good move. I just think the other thing is better, even though it gives no plus frames unless you, you hit, you know. Both is needed. Both is a good uh, counter to each other. I think you should guys just use this a lot more. So, yeah. And then lastly, in the neutral, if you think your opponent's gonna do anything, you know what I mean, just randomly throw it out, put, throw out his power crush. You know, his power crush is gonna uh, wall splat. Uh, this is 414. Awkward notation, but yeah, 414. It's a mid, you guys see that? 20 damage, you know, uh, yeah, 23 uh, frames. And you're eating a small punish at 13. You know, gives you knockdown. Knock this knockdown is always like. You know, yeah, yeah, so it's always like that, but the thing is he, I set him to getting up, but yeah. So you get that follow-up guaranteed 100%. It's even a combo meter on the side, actually. Yeah, so that's that. And randomly, you also want to do his other parry. This is four one plus two, right? The other one is back one plus, uh, four one four. This is back one four. This is, is a parry, but it only parries punches yeah so so against Steve this is gonna be hilarious yeah so yeah so this is his neutral and his punishment game all right you guys we are gonna get back to the lows you know all right so this is lows we're just gonna low Hayachi all day because he keep having multiple hell sweeps you know all right so for his low I think his best low, besides like something you got to get into stance for, is this. It's just your simple, just down three. You know what I mean? Um, this to me, honestly, is his best low. Is 13 damage and is 16 frame. But look at it. It's very evasive, right? It's very evasive, and he doesn't really have many evasive moves, you know, for for like lows. So yeah. This is minus 13 on block, so pretty standard for a low, right? And it's minus two on hits. So you're getting nothing out of hit. Look at Ayachi. He's standing on the floor, and you still got to get up, you know? So you're at minus even though you hit a move. It's very bad for that, and it doesn't give you any advantage, but it's the best thing that he can do, you know? So just to put that out there. Um, and why would I say that this is his best? Because the other things are flawed in their own way, like very flawed, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so, 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 so let's get into that, yeah? So, now you have your down two. Down two is actually not bad. 
Down two is actually not bad by itself, right? It's 15, uh, 15 damage, I think, right? 15 damage and then uh, 20 frame. Um, if they block this, you're getting launched. That's a whole, that's a whole free launcher on them. Yeah, so it's minus 15. It's very dangerous by itself, right? And, um, on hit, you're not losing anything, you're not gaining anything, it's neutral on hit. So that is that. But it actually has an extension, right? And this is one of the reasons why it's dangerous. Because the extension is a high. This is one of the telegraph highs in the game. People, people see this, people know this, and then they kill you for it. You know? Yeah, um, it's plus 10 on hit, though. So if you get hit with the second one, you get hit with the high. Yeah, good for you. You know what I mean? But yeah. So, um, another benefit to this move is if you miss, well, not miss, but if the second hit counter hits, combo. Yeah. So that's that. But this is, this is pretty good range. It's actually not that bad now, thinking about it. I still think this is better because it's evasive. But yeah, um, this is pretty good range. I actually should use this a lot more. Um, but yeah, so, so, so this is what he has. Um, now, I should have picked a different costume with his hair out to show you that he's emo. I'm giving you guys a hint of the next move. His emo man. Uh, yeah. So this is his, uh, pause version of the demo man. Right? The reason pause demo man is so scary is, you know, really quick trip. You know? So yeah, so this is pause version of that, right? Super, super launch punishable. You, you block the slow low, you're launched. That's minus, I think, 19 or something like that. Yeah, so this is super slow. Super, super slow. Um, yeah, and, 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 and you see that it doesn't trip? The way to make it trip is on counter hit, I think. Not even counter hit. You have to commit. You have to literally commit to the string. Yeah, so that, that that's, how, that's how you do that, you know? Yeah, um, on wall though, not bad. Sometimes the, the mid hits, sometimes the second hit hits, and then that's, that's guaranteed. You know, they get a re-wall splat, which is great. Sometimes during Forbidden Realms, the floor break stage, and you do this, you see that? They're in the air, and then they splat down. The moment they splat down, you get to do your combo. So that's also very good. This is a very scary move. Very scary move, but why is it scary, you know? The benefits to it, it has a lot of negatives too, right? It's very, very launch punishable and very, very close. So you have to be right here. And Noctis don't like being here, you know? He likes being out here and, um, you know, applying, like, just whips and, like, pushing you back. Because here, if your opponent blocks you, you're dead, you know? So that doesn't really mix with his gameplay much. Um, but yeah, I mean, he has a really big halberd. So he should have a, uh, a, a a move like that, thinking about it, you know? But yeah, it doesn't really match with his game too much. Yeah. Um, that's that. Now you have your down back four. Watch this move. This move is amazing. You ready? Doesn't even reach from there. Yeah, so that's this move. That's down back four. He's standing, so even though it's, it's a low, you can still get hit. It's weird, right? Uh, by, like, some high moves. It's really weird. Yeah, it has absolutely... No range. One back dash and you have no range, you know? It's, it's weird. Yeah, um... Uh, it is 9 damage. 9 damage. Uh, 17 frame. And it's only minus 1. If you block it, you get your standard 12 frame punish. But it's, uh... It's minus 1. So you get no added benefit to that anyways. Even though, like, it's, it's range is super narrow, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah, don't use that move. Uh, and then, um, a good, a good low, an actual very good low, that's, that's, that's outside of the neutral, right? It's his full crouch. This is actually a very good low. So this is 17 damage, uh, 20 frames. It's, 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 it's his mix up from full crouch. So now I think uh, he's actually pretty threatening at full crouch. Not like, uh, Asuka threatening, but still very threatening nonetheless. So yeah. Good, uh, good new move for, uh, for season three, right? Yeah, it is 13 on block. Um, yeah, and I would say that this is his best slow if you want to just incorporate everything, right? It also is homing. 
So, yeah, for him to get home, you gotta go right into this, right? Like, uh, you have Mardok and, uh, and Gigas who can, who can do a move like this in a neutral. But, yeah, he, he has to crouch for it, you know? Yeah, um, plus four on hit. And, um, on counter hit? Look at, look, look, look at this, on counter hit. Ouch! That is 13. You get 13 free damage. I mean, 13 free, uh, uh, free frames. If they swing the whole time from there, bang. You know? Another differentiation between the two full crouch moves is that this gets you up. You're standing now, right? You're standing now. But this, you can continue to do your wall crouching mix-ups if you would like. And when, when you think that they're going to get up or, or start blocking low, bang. You, now you're up, you know? So, yeah. Once you do this, you're back in the neutral. You're, you're ready to go. But here, you can just keep going and harassing your opponent, you know? Collecting your plus frames. Yeah. So, that, that that's what you guys uh, have for lows. And then lastly, even though I didn't get to the stances yet, I'll just say it just to be thorough. You have your roll. Look at that. Smooth, man. He's gliding on... Not ice. He's gliding on snow, you guys. That is extremely... Extremely swag. Just saying. Just saying. Oh, uh, man. Alright. Uh, yeah, he gets all the chikabos Or chikabos How do you say that, the little, the little chick? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So that's that. You, you, you get the roll, and then you actually get a follow-up. Bang. So yeah, so that is actually his lows. Alright, you guys. So now we're gonna talk about his... Launchers, yeah? You guys like launchers, right? So for launchers, um, his most well-known one is the ORA! ORA! Very good move. Love this move. So yeah, um, if your opponent even moves up by a little bit, you catch them with this so easily. This move is so... I can see why people are so mad at him, you know? Yeah. So this is a mid. Um, it's it's farther than you can even say. Ora, ora, like it's so far, super far. This move does everything. It uh, hits ground when when like he's grounded, right? Bang, it hits ground. Yeah, it does everything. Um, yeah, it is amazing. Uh, back four one plus two right here. Just a differentiation. This move does not hit ground, but this does. I mean the ora does. See that? That didn't hit ground. Yeah, so the aura does. Just 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 uh just a minor differentiation. But yeah, um his far very good move. You can hold it, and when you hold it, it's actually 46 frames. Yeah, so you're on some gigas time now. You know what I mean? You're on some stocky people time right there. Yeah. Um another one of his launchers is up forward too. The same thing uh, with aura. Up forward two has the same screw, which doesn't look like it's gonna screw. It does not look like it's gonna reach, right? It never does. Always, always amazing. And I guess right there it doesn't, you know. But yeah. So it screws right there. It's a mid. All right. So next you have your down forward two. Down forward two is just amazing, right? Hits very comfortably wherever you choose to hit. Yeah. So your down forward two is actually 20 damage. So, pretty standard for like a good launcher. It's 15 frame, super long range with Punisher. Um, Claudio's over here doing like Claudio things far away and just bang, just clip him, you know, just get him for free. Yeah. Um, it's minus 20 on block, so you eat it, you're dead. Yeah. Your opponent blocks this, you're dead. But it is kind of weird, because look at him in the air. In the air. You see that? The whole time he's in the air, you're just going to probably get a float. It's weird. Sometimes that happens. It's just really weird. So with that in mind, you actually take less damage. So that's actually better for you. Yeah, extremely horrible on whiff, but very evasive. So you're able to duck a lot of a lot of highs. Um, you're jumping, so you're gonna duck lows. You know, uh, very far range. So you have so much for you, and that's why this move is so bad against you too. They, that that's a trade-off. Now you have your up two. Up two is your mid uh, mid launcher. And just like your aura, mid two screws the exact same way with that, you know. It is safe, you know, it is safe, but this is like a whole 21 frames. 
Look at this. Like he, he stays in the air and he polishes. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, like he stays in the air. It takes a while. You know, um, Lisa, very strong combo. You know, um, good move, just hella slow. That's, 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 that's that move, you know. Um, up four, three. Goes right into, like, you're crouching now, right? Ooh, let's just go back. Man, that was weird, right? So, yeah, um, your up four, three is your mid mid. It's actually two hits. Yeah, so this is actually like a lightning screw, like um, like Lars. Um, it's not as punishable. Still, uh, minus 13. Yeah, it's a it's a two hitter. And uh, yeah, if you don't hold up, it's you can still screw from it, but it has to be your uh, your crouching. Or you can do like like uh, cancels and you know stuff like that. I don't remember how to do that, but yeah. You, you, you can cancel. I don't remember the combo. You guys can look that up. Uh, yeah, but now with this, there's this is really no reason to. You know? Yeah, so that's his up forward uh, three, right? And now you have your down forward four, two, two. Does that move look familiar? It's exactly like your up forward two. It's the exact same thing. It just comes out of like random hits when like your opponent don't expect it. Then you just clip them, you know, from your up forward series. Because randomly, you guys should just do that, right? Yeah, so sometimes it clips them. And you get the exact same screw out of it. Yeah, same damage and everything. So, yeah. Now, um, for his natural launches, you have your Wall Rising. Wall Rising 2-2. Two -two. Um, I mentioned this move earlier for, like, the, uh, um, the, the punishment, right? But, yeah, this is also your launcher. Um, this is your 15 frame while standing launcher mid mid uh, The first hit has to hit for the second one to counter. I mean for the second one to launch Has to unless if it's counter hit for this just the second one Yeah, so that's that it has to and you're gonna eat a pretty big damage if you do not get that that's minus 14 You know now you have your four forward forward one plus two Four forward one plus two Forward, 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 one plus two. Um, very slow, mid. Uh, yeah, very good on block, you know. Um, very bad in the air. <laughs> yeah, very linear. Um, hits ground. This move does a lot. It gives you plus 11, 23 frames. Um, yeah, you, you notice how I keep going on about this? You know what I mean? It is not the father of Mori. Yeah, like this thing does, like, it, it does a lot, you know. Yeah, it's filing for taxes. Yeah, so this move does a lot. Very good move, but, um, you know. Yeah, so now you have your back turn. Uh, Chloe recently got a chance to have a stance from back turn where she could just go into it. He still needs to do a move into it. Yeah, so this is just his back three. Or his uh, regular four three. I mean, four back. Yeah, so you can do that. Two ways to get into his back stance. And then you actually can do your just regular two. This is actually a safe launcher though. Pretty far range, right? Pretty far range. And then um, you actually get a full combo. No uh, no BSing with you guys. You get a full combo. Yeah, um, minus nine. And um, it's, it's just pretty funny, you know? Because he only has like normal stuff from like back turn, you know? He doesn't even have the normal jump from back turn, so yeah, he, he, he doesn't have much from back turn. So yeah, you have to do the two most of the time. But yeah, I guess it's just good to have because randomly he's throwing swords and like warping away, right? So he's always going to be like in a weird angle. Sometimes you're going to be behind. And when you're behind, you at least want to have a move that will do something about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you at least want to have something to, to do. So yeah, at least give him the coverage. So yeah, can't be mad. Also, since we're talking about launchers, this is technically a launcher. Technically. And what I mean by technically is in, in certain uh, angles, you can actually pick that up. Let's see if I can get it. There you go, you know. Yeah, so you guys saw it's a combo meter. I did not cheat you guys. I didn't, I didn't do it, you know. Yeah, it's a it's an actual launcher, 
but not really, you know. Yeah, cause cause you're not getting this consistently. You see that? It's it's it has to be off axis. So like, how would you even know? Like right there, you know. It's not a full launcher. I, I and and if you guys do this and you miss, you're getting killed for that. You know, your opponent got up right there. They could do a wild standing launcher, whatever. They ducked you. Boom, you're just dead. Claudio would have just done his wild rising too, and you're in the air. You know what I mean? It's not your fault. You hit him with a launcher, so why should you get punished for it, right? But yeah, you're dead if if you miss. So I don't really suggest you you aim for this. You know, sometimes it would look pretty cool, it's like what? But yeah, I wouldn't really suggest you go for that. And um, also, most people didn't know. But let's see if we can set the opponent uh, laying down face up. So, most people don't know this, but that's actually a launcher, too. Let's see if I can get that. What? Yeah, so his down back, 1 plus 2, is actually a launcher. Yeah, so it's actually a launcher. Um, interesting though, right? Yeah, so he actually has a way to, to pick up from the launcher. So technically, I'm going to count that as a launcher. I mean, it... What else is it, right? Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, so that's that's his normal launchers, and now what do you have for counter hit launcher? Um, you act stranger danger, right? So for counter hit, you have your uh, best one, the up the up one, right? Up one, up back one, up four one, right? A uh, high 17 frame gives you really good plus frame on block. It's safe, minus four, right? Uh, 17 damage. Um, it's a high but very good move. I'd, I'd, I'd like this on uh, on Gigas or Chloe or somebody, you know? Yeah, so very good move. Um, now you have your 2-2-4-2. Two, two, two. All of this together, uh, let, let's put counter hit on. Let's put counter hit on. This saves a lot of time. All of this together. Yeah, all of that together um, doesn't do anything. But the last hit. Wow, very far, huh? actually does you remember that that he has many uh twos right you don't know when your opponent's gonna stop right well if you if you hold forward two two forward two you actually can uh get the forward hit and that's actually a uh counter hit launcher on its own yeah completely guaranteed you know so yeah that's his um counter hit move from there and then you have your one plus two boom this is just the single one plus two um the same way as this you see how one one of his legs went up one of his legs went up and then the second one pushes this happens with that too the second hit will push them down for the actual combo so what that means is if you hold back claudio was standing again not a combo so you actually have to let it rip you know what i mean beyblade style right there yeah. Uh, yeah. So, you, so you actually have to let that rip. But if you miss, if you estimate it wrong, you're eating the whole combo. I mean, a, a 14 frame punish. So, it's it's generally not worth it. But it is cool sometimes just to see, you know. Yeah. So that's that. And then he has his down two series. I mentioned that earlier, right? On his lows. Um, the high is safe. Uh, hopefully you guys get players that. Don't block this, you know. I mean, the low is actually relatively fast, so you know that's that's definitely an unseeable range. But the second hit, you know, the second hit is actually your counter hit. Yeah. So, you know, it it, it is good to have insurance. You know. Um. Yeah, and this is low high, right? Uh, the second hit will counter hit you, and the high is safe and. Uh, in case if counter hit is not on, you get that extra really long uh, plus 10. 
Yeah, so it's, it's actually very good for that. And now you have your down back too. You're down back too. Oh yeah. So down back two is actually a launcher like that. Yeah, so your down back two is actually a launcher. Um, it's a very far move. It got nerfed season three and I personally believe it should. People spam this so much on the wall. It is insane, you know? And this is this is generally in the range of uh, unseeable, too seeable. So you play somebody really sharp, they're gonna punish you for that, you know? And if you get punished for that, you're eating a whole combo. No ifs, ands, and buts. You're eating a whole combo. Yeah. So that's your down back too. Um, it's 19 frames minus, you know what I mean? The combo is very finicky because like if you're doing it at max range, you have to do that. At max range, there's no way to, to pick it up, you know? First of all, that's a cool combo. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. It's very finicky, but it technically is a counter hit launcher, you know? And now you have your back four, one plus two. The, 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 the baby aura. The baby aura. Um, first move by itself doesn't do anything, and then both of it together don't do anything. But if your opponent blocks that, and then they swing to that the second one, you're, you're in good shape. Counter hit launcher right there. You know? Um, and then you have your best one. I saved the best one for last, because I already told you how much I like this move, you guys. This move is everything. Yeah, this move is so good. Yeah, it's your mid... And at first, when I started using them, I, I kept thinking this is like way better. You got to keep going for this, you know. But no, this is this is definitely the way to go. Um, yeah, 15 frame minus nine, definitely safe. Um, amazing frames on on hit, you know. Counter hit, you get that, you know. Yeah, so so you get all that during the counter hit is actually very strong. I, I I love that move. And um, yeah, that has been your launchers and your counter hit launchers. All right, you guys, so this is going to be a shorty, but a quickie because we're going to talk about moves that goes into his stances. Not much, not much. Um, another problem with Noctis is that he doesn't really have good mix ups. Um, he doesn't have any strings that goes into like a mid or a low, you know, for you to like really mix your opponent up besides his full crouch game. He doesn't have much. That's the thing. He doesn't have much. So. For his um, stances, he has two. He has his jump stance, and uh, you guys can probably guess how to do that. You know what I mean? I'm not even going to insult you guys like you don't know. Yeah, so you have your, his, you, you have your jump stance, and then um, what's your other stance? You have your roll, your forward roll. Forward roll is uh, both kick buttons, three plus four, and, and just forward. It actually is a pretty good gap closer, you know? Like from far away, if you just finish your combo, right? Two of them. That's all you need. It's very good. Um, and uh, yeah. So how? So so what gets you into these stances? So down back one, down back one, hold forward gets you into one, right? And then um, yeah, that gets you into it. You have your mix up anyways from it. You never really know, right? You can actually do the full hit, so people have to stay blocking. But yeah, down forward one is uh, probably your primary way to go into the roll. Um, you have your up three. That gets you into your uh, fly stance if you hold up. Bang. You're looking good. You're looking good right there. I see you knock, tizzle. I see you. Um, you also have your 4-2. This thing. By itself, it doesn't do anything. But in air. Um, if I can do it. In air, he actually auto flies. Yeah, he actually auto flies. And then you guys know, you guys can do the triangle, 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 you know, two, two, two. Yeah. And um, those are his ways of getting into stances, but I'm going to add a little extra in here. He has his three back or his back three and then his back four, you know, two ways of getting into the stance. I figured I just mentioned, you know, why not? Right. I'm, I'm, I'm very thorough. You guys know this by now. You guys know this. Yeah, so 
very short, very short section, you guys, but that's how you get into it. Uh, yeah. So, what can you do inside of his stances, you may ask, right? Yo, is counter hit still on? It is. Let's, let's turn this off. Um, yeah. I remember you guys. A, a, a subscriber told me, uh, turn counter hit off. I, I, I agree. It should be turned off. Okay, so, what can you go into... What can you do from roll, right? Um, first, let's just, let's just say the instant mix-up from roll... You can stay crouching. From roll, and um, that's an extra layer of uh, confusion for your opponent, right? If you stay crouching, now you have your mix-up. Until you're super good low, or you're super, super good mid, right? So you have your crouching already. Um, it adds another dimension to your uh, whole rolling game. And, um, I mean, there's characters with fly stances. There's characters who are laying on the ground. Like Eddie and, and Lei Wulong, you know. There's characters like the Bears who's actually crawling at you. So why shouldn't he have a roll stance, right? Yeah. So, yeah. That's what he does in the roll. Um, you also can do your roll 3-4. This move is launch punishable on block. Scary. Super scary. He's he's dancing on it like it's like butter on the, on the floor or something. Like, he's so smooth with it, you know. Yeah, so, your roll 3-4... Um, super minus on block, but it gives you a follow-up, and it's actually very scary because it dips a lot. So you get 17, right, plus 20. You get 37 for a low. Very powerful. It's a very powerful low. It's launch punishable, though, so, yeah, that sucks. That sucks, right? And, um, another thing you can get from this, if, if you don't want your low to get blocked, power crush. Oh, yes, he has a power crush from there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to get into some stuff. Wait till you guys... Oh, my God. You guys are in for a treat. Yeah, so, um... Yeah. He has his power crush from there. He does have his own power crush in neutral. But this one is also a wall bounce. Why is it just from the... The roll, even though it's the exact same shield? I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, so, so that's what that is. And from jump... I'm just going to save you guys all this trouble. If you guys look on his move list, you've never seen this. You've never seen this. You've never seen that. You just never seen it. You know what I mean? Not from Noctis. Not from Noctis. I know. I know. Geese has a has, has a has a double that he does often. You don't see it from Noctis. Um, most of his fly stance is a waste of time. You'll really only see one, and then maybe, maybe, maybe two. So, the one that you guys see, right? Is this fly stance the two two two? You see the two two two, and um, that's it. And then sometimes you see that for ground spikes, for spiking on the ground and for breaking ground. Yeah, so that's that, that's about it. And this is his one plus two. Yeah, this is one plus two. So you see his two 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 or his one plus two. You don't see anything else because Noctis doesn't have anything else. Um, yeah, he, he needs something else. Make it a full good stance, you know. But I can see how it's kind of confusing to have that. You know, maybe have an elongated fly stance like Devil Jin. I don't know. But yeah, so that's that's his uh, his moves in stance. You see how it's very little. This this gets to his uh, the one of the flaws of his gameplay where it's like very linear gameplay very one dimensional you know no 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 mix up of any kind you have to like make your own mix up so you can make your own mix up with any character but he doesn't have built in mix up you know so yeah that has been noctis's stances all right so noctis's special properties i decided to also change the the stage to, to a stage with wall because I will say this is a special property when you guys I will change them to block right Noctis can steal five damage with his raise drive on the wall if your opponent is blocking if they have five or less left you win the game 
So as a special property, I would I would say that that's one. You know. Yeah. Um, other special properties that his moves have, and this is something that he he excels at in this. You know. Uh, first is back two. First is his back two. Lightning. Oh yeah. It's really funny. Um. Uh, his back two one plus two. The moment you do the one plus two, you get that uh, spark. It's just a really quick. Oh snap! Can't believe he did that to me. Type move. Um, yeah, that's pretty special. You know, it's just something like that. And then he also has animation type throws. You know, they're not really Suvaki uh, throws, but um, yeah. Another one of his uh, special things is these animations. You know, definitely special properties. Um, you know. Uh, four or two also. Yeah. So these are also pretty special on, in their own right, right? Four or two by itself probably could hit you from here. You know? Um, and that's on an off day, you know? When Loctis didn't sleep well that night, you know? He woke up on the wrong side of the bed, you know? Yeah. So that's, that's pretty special on its own. Uh, next he has two parries. This parry. Right? Which is really unique, right? It blocks everything. Uh, and then the other one, which is his punch parry. Moyaro! If your opponent's swinging, you can block with that. Or you can punch them down with that, you know? Uh, yeah, his punch parry. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, so now we're going to get to the actual um, stuff most characters have. Which is the Power Crush. Power Crush is the forward 1-4, which is a weird input, but whatever. Forward 1-4 gives you a follow-up. That's guaranteed. You see the combo meter? Almost 40 damage for a Power Crush. I take it. I don't think Noctis should take any damage from this, because he's not actually getting hurt. It's actually his shield. Technically. You know? Shields are supposed to protect you from damage, but nitpicking. Nitpicking. You know? Um, so it's a mid, 20 damage by itself, or 19, 20 damage by itself, um, 23 frames, power crushes normally eat during the 8th frame, uh, yeah, and if you get block, this block, you're minus 13, and, uh, yeah, it gives you a follow-up, so that's that, and then you also get your other power crush, from what I just mentioned in his roll, you know, yeah, so you get a roll from there. Yeah, two power crushes, not bad, not bad. Most most people have one, not bad, not bad. Noctis, Noctis would definitely take that. And now for the screws, oh man, does Noctis have a lot of screws, you know. So let's go over them. That's one, you know. The one, two, one plus two is a screw, I promise you guys. Yeah, that's a screw. The forward, the two, two forward. That's a screw. You know, um, the forward 4 2, right? Uh, the forward 4 2. That's a screw. Bang. It's actually a really good wall splat, too. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a minus 11, so you're eating something, but I think the risk reward is always on your side with that move. So that's a pretty good move. Uh,. Down forward one four, so uh, yeah, you're down forward one four. Yeah, that's a screw. Um, you're down. That's a screw. You're down forward four two four. You know. Uh, you're down for one plus two, or down for one two. Oh yeah, you're down for one two. You're down for one two is a screw. Um, you're down two two. I guess I have to do a different combo. You're down two two. That's a screw. And then you also have your jumping. Two two two. Another screw. Um, you also have your wall standing two two right, which is a launcher on its own, but also is a screw. So it's both. Yeah. So that's that. 
Um, next you have your homing moves. And uh, hashtag give Noctis homing moves. <laughs> you have your one plus two back. That's a homing move. So you th use this when your opponent is actually uh, stepping, you know. You know. Or use this even when you want to keep your opponent there. It's good for both. Keep your opponent there or when they're moving. It hits both times. Um, your your pseudo launcher, right? The up four. Your pseudo launcher is actually a homing move also. Um, just a, just a quick note. The way you guys can tell if things are homing moves, it used to be that you can see like white sparks coming through the move. Like, look at his leg. White, you see it? See the white? It's like a white tornado. That white used to symbolize that he actually, that that move is a homing move. Nowadays, they just kind of tell you, so save a lot of time there. You know, figured I'd just mention a little, 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 little trivia right there. Yeah, um, so that's your up four. And now you have your four, four, one plus two. I'm telling you guys, this is one of the best moves that he has, right? Keep them in check. Super plus frame. Wall splat. Right? Super good. And then your uh, your low, your full crouch uh, two, your full crouch two, All right? Down forward two. Um, yeah, this this makes sense. That is the homing move. I'm surprised the homing move has such a uh, good range, I guess. But yeah, that move is actually very good. Uh, yeah. So that has been his special properties. All right, so now we're gonna get into his mix-ups, his resets, frame traps, stuff like that. You know what I mean? So first, uh, I went I went through the fact that his rage drive steals rounds. I just want to emphasize that. Keep that in mind. It's really good. You know? Yeah. So it's really good. Um. Yeah. Now you have your parry, right? So now you have your parry, right? Um, when's a good time to do this? Well, people will swing at you um, when you do moves with plus frames, uh, such as this. If you do that, you can just parry if you want to, you know? Um, times to parry also is like down four, one four. This is the very, very common one. After you do that, you just, uh. After this, just uh. You know, after uh, down 2-2, two, two, just pop it. After your forward 2, so when she's blocking it, right? Like, let's say if you like, just this far, you get to her, she's going to swing back, bang. Just pop that out, you're just going to push them away, you know? Um, if your opponent's back is to the wall and you get a parry, they wall splat. So then you can do your combo, whatever you want to do. Um... Yeah, so that's that's his parry, you know, pretty good to to have, you know. Um, give yourself close enough range, you know. One, two, back. That's the next thing we're gonna talk about, and what happens with that is, um, you see, the second hit is a mid. How do you block a mid? You gotta you gotta block, right? You gotta stand block. So when you stand block. Stand block if you want to. I'm close to you. So this is a common strategy between them. So you can actually do this, and if they think just it's, it's it's the emo man, get out of here. I didn't want to do the emo man today. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you can either do the emo man and go balls to the wall, or you can go for your full launcher, also balls to the wall, or you can just keep pressure and do safer stuff completely up to you but both of it is uh okay from here and if they don't respect you hit the whole thing you know they don't respect you okay you know but as long as you're doing this most of the time they're always going to think it's one you know most of the time they're going to think it's one and if not and your opponent just likes to block sure if you're blocking you're not hitting me you know so that's fine with me uh not many things can give him plus frames. 
So you gotta abuse that. You know? Um so yeah, as long as you create space. Let's put her on block now. Right? As long as you create space. They try to swing back. You're gonna collect your plus range from that. You know? It's very linear, like most of his other stuff, but it's it's pretty good. So you create your plus frames, you hit them, let's say, with a jab, right? Jab, your mid jab, um, you're running uh, one plus two, and then you just do that. You're gonna collect your counter hit launcher. Cause they're gonna swing at you during this, you know? Or if you connect this into that, you know? Cause this already gives you a lot of plus frames. So after the first one, you, they swing again, boom, you clip them, you got them, you know? So this actually can counter, can go into that pretty well. But yeah, you collect your plus frames, or you can do this, which is your aura. Push them back, they come at you, bang. Come into here, I, this is my circle, you know what I mean? That's what turtling is. Turtling is stay in your own space, I'll stay in mine, you know? Randomly, I'll try to get into your space, but then I'm like still in my own zone. I'm back in my own zone, you know? So yeah, cause this is where he's, you gotta stay where you're comfortable at, you know? And this is one of those moves that's just, get out of my space, you know? So yeah, that's that, that's that, um, it's really, it, 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 Aura definitely creates good of, good counter hit opportunities for this, I would say. Even better than this, cause it's a forward forward motion, it's a little bit slower, but this is immediate, you know? They try to swing at you in any kind, they're gonna get hit. Yeah. Um, now we're gonna talk about his four forward four. Okay. So let's tank her off of here. And um, what happens is Noctis actually has pretty good Oki. Oki means Okiz uh, Okizemi. And uh, what Okizemi means is when your opponent's on the ground. Um, not that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. When they're on the ground. Oh, she's gonna get up. When they're on the ground, what what are you gonna do to scare them? Are you gonna hit them, right? Or are you gonna like stay down there and then do something to get them off of the ground? You know? Are you going to plan for something big? You know? What are you gonna do to hit them or get them off of the ground? You know? What are you going to do? So Oki, right? He actually has very good Oki. And what are you gonna do when they get off the ground, right? So he actually has very good Oki. So with that said, um, here's here's a standard combo. You can actually follow up with his forward forward four, which is an, an animation move also. But the forward forward four leaves you with her head right to his leg, so she can't kick you. She can't kick you with either of her legs, her low or her mid, from getting up. She can't kick you. The only thing she can do is get up, all right? So from getting up, if she just gets up right away, you're gonna launch her for that. Um, sometimes it's very finicky, like as you can see right there, but most of the time, you do launch them. Um, I guess it also depends on the wall, whatever, but you do launch them for that. Let's see if I just move in a little bit more. You do launch them. So we're just gonna say that. You can launch them if they try to get up, or if they lay on the ground, spike them again on the ground, you know? Spike them on the ground. Or what covers uh, both options in a way is the aura, because she's going to be laying on the ground with her head towards you, right? Aura can hit them from rolling back. It can hit them from... Let's, let's even do this for her, where... She's just gonna lay down, right? If she's laying down, it can hit the ground also. So Ora can also hit the ground. Um, yeah, it's very good off of that respect. If you finish it with this, which is actually his strongest finisher, anyways, you actually are in very good shape for like uh, more pressure. That's how he applies his pressure. You know, uh, when you're already leading. That's how he uh, starts dominating you. Um, Cause now you gotta get close to him. He's just gonna stay back, you know? So yeah, your 4-4-2 four, four, 
I mean, 444 puts them in a pretty bad position where they can't hit you, but you you're more than you're more than likely going to hit them in 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 any way, you know? Or even if they just get up, just do your random, you know, keep them on block. They're not hitting you anyways, you know? Yeah. So that's actually very good. It it, it gives you very good Oki. You know, um uh yeah, either you're down 4 2 or you know, your four, four, one plus two is actually really good too, because look at what happens when she tries to get up. It clips him. Your four, one plus two actually would clip him too if they try to get up. Look how linear he is. She didn't even move, and it was so linear he misses. You know, he's so linear, and this is what I'm saying, you guys. Okay, so now we're about to get in some, some other juicy tidbits. You know, uh, you can end the combo with uh, down back one. Right? So what happens with down back one is it actually goes into his roll, right? So after his combo, you actually get a mix up. So let's see if I can show that. There you go. You actually get a mix up. So the whole combo, your normal combo, and then you can go down back one, which is 10 damage by itself. And then you get that extra bit and then this extra bit more than your actual combo you lose a little bit to either get nothing or get much more that's how that's how these mind games are played that's how these mind games are work you know so yeah you get that but what if they what if you do it randomly and then they know that there's a low from here right well you know about your mix-up and on and if there's a wall you get your power crush uh wall bounce also um yeah and then you push them back on wall you do whatever you want to do and then spike you know so yeah uh for oki he's actually pretty good at that aspect um it just sucks that he's one of those characters without the uh uh very good uh unblockable <laughs> you know those are always fun but when i mention he's linear i'm not kidding even that you can sidestep bang and, and you just avoid it no problem you know uh yeah so that is that um and then lastly i want to get to a juicy tidbit right which is you can spike them down for again oki right strong oki situation this is this is like a, a knock to spike combo right so you do your launcher mid jab you get in the air this time you wait a little bit and then you spike them down with that so what happens is you do your launcher you hold with it with, uh, with your mid jab right and then you pick them up with your four two you get into air, and then while you're in air, you don't do it immediately. You wait a little bit. Wait. And then you spike them down. Now they're back in that same Oki position from this, right? Where they're, they're, their head is towards you, so they can't kick you. So then from there, you can just do whatever you want the same way. You can launch them for that. You know what I mean? You can do whatever. You can go into rolls. You know, you're putting them in a very bad position where like they have to keep blocking and if they keep blocking, they're not swinging at you, you know? You can hit them with that, you know, more damage already. That was 60 plus 7 plus 16, you know, that was 76. So it is much more damage already. Um, yeah, this is a, this is a pretty, uh, dangerous combo actually. And it spikes them down. And whoever thought of this was a genius because they used the uh, the power the um, the punch parry into it. This is what I was saying. You guys are in for a treat. You know that's that's a really good, really cool. You can go into both. You guys can go into both. Just you know, continue to be a tricky Noctis. You know, um, Noctis doesn't have many mix-ups. So you got to formulate your own. You know. Yeah. So that's that. Um, that has been everything that I know about this character, and now it seems like it's everything that you guys most likely know too, you know? Um, thanks you guys for watching, it took a very long time, it took double the time actually, because I actually like lost and I had to remake it over, you know? So thanks you guys for the patience, and um, if you guys learn anything new, if you guys appreciate the effort, if you guys appreciate the detail, you know, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. 
you know, turn on the notification bell. This is Stranger Danger from Silhouette Gaming, and we are signing out, people. Peace. Oh, you guys, I just want you to know my theory. My theory is a very crazy theory. An almost, an almost unbelievable theory about our loving prince. Here in Tekken, every punch, every kick is numbered. One, two, three, or four. It all controls a limb. Noctis does not use his two, except when you jab. His one punch is fine, but every time you do forward two, down back two, down forward two, hell, even back one two, he never punches. I think Noctis is either left-handed or southpaw. I present to you from the official Tekken website a quote that they had. He also wears a black motorcycle glovelet on his left hand. Seems like his dominant hand, huh? And yes, with all the evidence against him, it is clear. Noctis Lucius Kylum is left-handed. <laughs>